Hey everybody, it's Mitch, and welcome to my next video. Today we've got another Dungeons & Dragons 3.5 build video for you. And today, uh, we've got an interesting build. Uh, today, this build is, well, it's not what you might expect. Because this is a build where I deliberately tried to come up with the worst possible build uh, in Dungeons & Dragons 3.5. Are there worse? Maybe. But this one's pretty bad. Um, so basically, um, to start things off, you are going to be a kobold. Not a great race. It has some its advantages, but when not built for it, it's pretty bad. Um, yeah. Uh, and on top of that, we're going to say 20 levels of commoner. Because, you know, we're going to go 20 level build, so just, just straight commoner. Because Commoner has literally nothing going for it. You know, it's got a bad base attack, all bad saves, it has two plus inch skills, literally no class features. Skillless is okay, but that's all it has, and it's really not impressive in the slightest. Honestly, even going with things with bad synergy like Barbarian and Wizard without doing Rage Mage, still better than Commoner. Because, yeah, you can't rage and cast spells at the same time. A lot of your class features are going to clash, and the synergy is just horrible. But you still have them. You can't use them at the same time. But, but did you got stuff, and you got that good base attack from the Barbarian and the nice hit dice. Whereas with Commoner, you don't get any of that. You just, you got, you get nothing. <laughs> Ever. Like, I'd, I'd, bad synergy is better than just nothing. Like... Uh, which is what the commoner gets is nothing. Um, so yeah, not a great class. Uh, so yeah, 20 levels of commoner. Honestly, I couldn't think of a worse option than just commoner. Um, I'm not sure there is one. Um, but here's the thing. It gets worse. Um, so for your feats, you're going to want to take a lot of skill focused feats. You, you really got to get those skills up, you know, Take some skill focused profession farming, you know, skill fresh, uh, skill focused profession cooking, uh, you know, stuff like that, you know, really important stuff. Um, yeah, really important stuff like multiple different professions. Oh, yeah, we're talking some really important skills right there. Really good use of feats. Um, yeah, <laughs> um, then, uh, what else? Uh, but that's not even the worst part. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make your con your dump stat. You got to dump that constitution. You got it. You got to make an eight in that con uh, with the Kabul. That's going to be like a six. That's not that, that that's that's a negative two to con. That's going to be something that you're going to keep in mind. Probably going to want to dump strength and dex as well. Put all those points into, you know, uh, intelligence and charisma. Those are going to be your big stats. You really want to buff those that intelligence and charisma. Um, yeah, maybe put some points into wisdom. Uh, but yeah, int and charisma. That's that's where you should be putting those points. Um, you know, get more, get some more skills, and you know, be more charismatic. I guess. Uh, I, I don't. I don't know. Um, you're really not going to be using it in charisma for much. That's why you buff them because they're things you don't really use for the build. Uh, you dump strength because I mean, really, your best option in combat is going to be fighting like a fighter. Um, with the best melee weapon you can use, which isn't going to be great. Um. Probably it'll just be kind of a simple weapon. Not exactly good. Um, yeah. Uh, so you're going to be using crappy weapons, but really that's your it's your best combat option because it's your only one, even though you suck at it. Like, it's, it's the best you can do. Commoner's not a great class. What can I say? Um, it's deliberately made bad. Uh, normally I don't talk crap on classes, but... Commoner doesn't have any redeeming features and it's kind of done so on purpose. Like, they very clearly did not try to make Commoner good. They clearly tried to make them suck. Um, which is why they do. Um, but it makes sense. Anyways, um, so yeah. Uh, we haven't even got to the worst part of this build yet. 
You really, really haven't. Yeah, your HP is garbage. You're terrible. But now the real fun of it comes in. You take a bunch of grafts, which all lower your maximum HP, which your HP isn't great to begin with. I mean, you have a D4 hit dice and a minus two uh, to your uh, con. Not exactly a great combination right there. It's really, really not. Um, I think there's ways to get that even lower, too. So, yeah, kind of a problem right there. Um, you know, if you can dump your con other ways, um, definitely the way to do it. Um, you know, maybe you happen to die at some point and you got brought back with a regular resurrection. You know, you lose, uh, especially if you just had that happen at first level, you're going to lose some con. Um, I'd say that would be a, a way to do it right there. Um, you could probably talk your DM into saying that happened prior to the game. Um, it'd be pretty easy to talk him into that. Like you, you're literally just asking for two less con for nothing. Um, yeah, it's not hard to talk a DM into making your character worse. Um, or you could just roll for your stats. Um, there's also some, uh, flaws, uh, and stuff that can help, uh, make it so that, uh, you get less health per level. Um, and yeah, uh, with your absolute garbage health, uh, you take a bunch of grafts and drop your HP to your maximum HP to below zero. Um, so you're now constantly dying, meaning you're pretty much never conscious unless your allies um, give you some temporary HP, at which point, okay, now you're conscious and able to fight, but you're still garbage. So yeah, not exactly great. Um, yeah. Uh, then of course there is, um, then of course, you know, if you jumped your con enough, you can drop it to negative, uh, below negative 10 or maybe just negative 10 uh at which point in order to stay alive your allies have to constantly keep uh temporary hit points on you uh so that you don't die and if they want you to actually fight they have to give you enough so that you can actually fight if not you're just unconscious um yeah pretty nasty uh all around it's uh and i mean even if you yeah they can use delay death but like that only lasts so long. I guess it'd be worth it during combat. And oh, okay, not not even if they want to keep you around, I guess. But honestly, even then, it's not really worth it. I mean, you're not contributing much. Like you have a bad base attack bonus and no proficiency with weapons and armor. Like, and that's your main form of combat is fighting with weapons and armor. Like, you're not contributing much at all. You're pretty much holding your party back in a major way. Um, yeah, but this build is designed to be bad. This is literally the worst build that I could come up with. Uh, I had my friend help me with this. Um, the whole uh, getting your health below negative, uh, below zero uh, was his idea. Uh, the whole commoner thing was mine. I mean, it's commoner. It's, it's a really easy. It's not hard to figure out. Commoner's just bad. Uh, anyways, yeah, uh, not a great build. Um yeah, uh, I would highly recommend you not playing this build uh, unless it's a joke campaign and you're prepared to, you know, die a lot and hold back your party. Uh, and they're cool with that. Um, but yeah, unless you're doing a joke campaign, I would really recommend not playing this build. It's it's pretty bad. Like it's deliberately as bad as I could make it. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys think of this really horrible build down in the comments below. Um, can you think of a worse build? Because I can't. Um, if you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. Maybe subscribe to the channel for more D&D 3.5 content and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on a video. Anyways, as always, I'm Mitch. I'll be seeing you.